Hey traders, Lance Cipolito here. I got a question. What are you doing with the extra hour in the day? I woke up early and went on a bike ride, grabbed me a coffee, and I got literally two hours before the market opened, so I don't know what to do. You can only do so much market analysis, right? Uh, but something I wanna to talk to you about today is retail. Retail stocks in particular, as we start going into the holiday season, Black Friday, and then December, you got everyone going to the mall buying Christmas gifts. Are they really though? Are they really going to the mall? Are they ordering online? Is the online market taking over? So a couple of names I'm looking at. Tapestry, the old coach, they just reported earnings this morning. Stock went from green to red uh, in the pre-market here. What's happening in my opinion, uh, and we had Nordstrom, another luxury retailer, take a hit last quarter, is you're having a flight to online. Um, not only am I talking about Amazon, uh, you know, that's the right, ev what everyone thinks, Amazon's crushing retail stocks, but you have the retailers like a Macy's, like a Kohl's, in particular, like a Gap, by the way, that never made the move to online or they made the move too late and now they're suffering. And uh, in response to that, a name like Lulu, a name like Nike, they actually made their presence online. That's why and even Target, uh, that retailer. That's why those stocks are near their 52-week highs and you have a Macy's, a Gap, a Kohl's that are near their 52-week lows out there. So yesterday, I actually bought puts in Macy's and Kohl's and Gap stores. Macy's, they report the November 22nd expiration. Uh, I, mean, I believe Gap is November 19th, so that November 22nd, that Friday expiration, we'll get the earnings. We saw over 6,000 Gap puts bought for around $1.20 and we have over 22,000 of the November 22, uh, 16, uh, I believe they're the 16 or 17 strike puts in Macy's accumulated over the past couple weeks. So large traders are putting millions of dollars in premium uh, and these retailers, actually Kohl's, had 5,000, 3,000, and 2,000 lot bots of April, January, uh, and November 29 expiration puts bought yesterday too. So I'm literally talking millions of dollars in put buys over the past couple weeks and these retailers looking for more downside. I'm short via puts, uh, I'm short, well, via long puts, thinking the stocks go lower here in the next few weeks, especially earnings. So just remember, retail, the bad ones, they will tank. The good ones that made the online presence, they will survive.